Oh, glorious day. All the holes have been filled in. Our fine, uh, handy dandy construction crew in here, married to their shovels for the last week, week and a half, of burying all the Jimmy Hoffa holes, our pirate treasure holes. So Virgil's over there laying in the pipe right now. We're gonna build forms very similar to these that our pipes are gonna run to for our beer runs and our soda runs. So that way we can stay high above grade are actually below grade, but we can stay as close to grade as we possibly need to to bring these big 10 inch lines so that we don't have to dig down two or three feet. So we've got these all going in beer lines, beer lines, uh, these soda lines, soda lines right there. There's going to be more soda lines over here, so we're getting all this stuff put I in got place. A little too close. That was here we are. We're uh, got the guys in here grading the ground. They're over there watering it. You can see the dark patch right there. That's all water. They're compressing everything down. So I got Virgil over here putting the pipes in. It is no. That one goes all the way. There's two of them that go all the way. And the short one goes over here. You don't need to bury it though. It's going to run through the wall. You don't even have to worry about that one. You don't even have to worry about it. Don't even think about it. It'll happen. Okay. It'll happen. So then these uh, got all their beer lines coming over. See how they're going to sprout right up into our uh, center island. So over here burying everything. Got Jordan's dad, Jeff, over here doing a fine job, fine job. No one cuts big pipe better than you, buddy. That's right, size matters, right? Got our pipes put in place. This is the uh, cooler. So this is the floor of the cooler. This is all going to have that, uh, that uh, insulation put in it right there. So that's going to be put in, and then it goes in the walk-in over there, too. It'll be two layers thick. See, it's all compressed down, compacted down, all nice and neat. That's where we're at. And the floor goes in. All right, third floor, let's see where we're at today. As you can see, we have uh, most of the pavers in. Got the uh, pavers open to where the uh, sinks are for the uh, ice wells. I mean, the ice, uh, the floor sinks over there for the outside bar. Moving along pretty good. The fire sprinkler was in here. The fire sprinkler guy, I had to tell him to stop because you have to put the HVAC in before you put the fire sprinklers in. At least the rough end for the ducks. So we put him on a little timeout. So they're outside working. See, we've got uh, our pecs pulled inside of the uh, bar die. We used a two by six bar die in this job simply because there wasn't a lot of room. So we've got the uh, floor sinks laid out. Uh, the plumber came in, he's got all his holes prepared, he's getting ready, and what else we got going on here? It's looking pretty good, we're cruising right along, the electrician's got, I'd say, 80% of his stuff done. Let's take a look at what we did in here. So what I did is I built these frames, and here's another frame right here, I don't know if you can see it, this one probably a lot better. So what we're going to do is right here with this framework, I'm going to put a flat screen TV right here. This is the sink. So you got your sinks right here. We're putting a flat screen TV. Then we're putting a two way mirror over the top of it. Then we're wrapping a uh, uh, rope light around it. Now there's going to be a block for the rope light. So the rope light will glow all the way around the mirror. But uh, when you actually look at this, the mirror, it'll be a full mirror. When the TV screen turns on, you will see the full uh, TV screen. You gotta have extra lighting out here, so we're gonna have to have a really good lighting source to reflect on the mirror so you don't see the uh, shadow of the TV behind it. Right here, this is actually another frame, and we will be just putting a TV solid mount in there with a nice little frame finish around it. Cruising over here, we got the electricians. Electricians doing a great job. Pulling their lines up and over. As you can see, I've got all my grid work in. Still waiting for them to move this beam so I can get my office walls all put in place. 
HVAC guys coming in. Yesterday we figured it out. He's putting all his uh, big HVAC units up here to feed both sides. <clears throat> Move back here. The electrician's got his panels in. Now we've got a giant LED TV that's going right here. So I'm coming in with some uh, 12 gauge steel studs and we're gonna box this out so it's gonna be a big opening. We're then gonna do a double wall and we're gonna start building the screen from the bottom all the way up and then over. So we'll build the whole screen right here in place and then we'll attach the screen all the way around to the framework and then we'll be able to access it from the back side. And that's where we're at. All right, so it is uh, late at night here and you can't even see the screen. So that's the giant mega screen right there. It's just a big white blur, but it's huge. It's 40 feet by 20 feet high. Camera won't even pick it up. Buffalo rings and things is open.